Hello and welcome to Daily Art Day number 2847. Pocahontas is coming along a bit slowly this morning. I'm trying to get the drawing really accurate here. Really get in there and make sure that the structure of her face is what it needs to be. Heavily leaning on the photo. I wish I could lean or not lean as heavily on the photo, but um, time is involved, so using the photo like crazy. Um, and today is a day of challenges. So I woke up late, slept through my alarm twice, which, you know, it is what it is. That's awesome. I got some really good sleep. That's good. I needed that sleep. And I was doing, I was listening to a philosopher note by uh, Brian Johnson in Optimize.me on the book, The Stoic Challenge by William B. Irvine. And he's talking about everything that I'm going through this morning. Because not only did I sleep late, am I late right now? Yes. Uh, but I've had a lot of tech issues this morning. My phone was not working at all. I couldn't get music playing while I was doing art. Uh, my Google Drive and every, it was like a bunch of crazy tech stuff going on that I was dealing with. And I'm so glad I was listening to the Stoic Challenge book because he's talking about looking at these challenges not as setbacks within our lives, which they are, but not getting all upset about it and up in our stuff about it, but really reframing it. You know, uh, one thing that uh, William B. Irvine does is he looks at all these challenges as the Stoic gods kind of sending him, uh, you know, a challenge to get better. You know, how do we get better in the world? We, we, we challenge ourselves, right? So we win with these challenges and it's, it's pretty wonderful. The other thing that he points out is, you know, looking at other people that have gone through just tremendous challenges in their life and, you know, overcome those challenges, such as uh, Bethany Hamilton, a 13-year-old surfer who lost her arm. It was bitten off by a shark. And then 26 days, 26 days later, she's back in the water surfing again. I mean, if that's not amazing, you know, what is? And then everybody knows Stephen Hawking, who's disabled by Lou Gehrig's disease, right? <laughs> And he worked through technology and everything, all he could. I mean, he couldn't move. All he could do is move his eyebrows. And through all of that, he basically changed the entire world of physics. And the entire world as we know it, you know. And that's just two examples of amazing exemplars. If they can get through those crazy challenges, those, you know, life-changing challenges... I can get through this day with a little bit of tech stuff and, and actually with a smile on my face. And that's what I did. You know, I reframed everything. You know, guess what? Bring it on. Give me these challenges. Give me a rough day. I'm going to show up and be my best. I'm going to do my best and show the world that I can not only do it, but I can do it calmly and connected balanced, energized, and all that. <laughs> I wish I had better words for it. But anyway, super fired up today. Awesome. I'm starting my work day right now. I am a little bit late. That's why this is a quicker video, but Pocahontas is coming along. Can't wait to see what she turns out like. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next video. Keep creating.